Hi there, it's Sam from Tutor Cruncher here. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick start guide on how to quickly integrate your website with Tutor Cruncher using the Tutor Cruncher socket. Now the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done so already is add your website URL via system branch details. I can access it via this button here. I'm using Squarespace for this tutorial, but most website builders should work. Once you've added your URL, just go down here, click Submit. That's saved that. And then what we need to do is in System Settings here, we want to scroll down to all the way down to API here, under Tutor Cruncher API. And then we're going to want to click Add Socket Integration. Once you've done that, in another tab, you'll want to go to dinotutors.com and then you'll want to click on socket examples. You can find a list of different web sockets here. These are different ways by which you could integrate Tutor Cruncher with your website. For instance, you could have this appointments booking socket is one example. We could have a tutors list if we wanted is another example. Today, I'm just going to be doing the basic inquiry form, but it's pretty much the same process for any of them. You'll see at the top of all of these pages that we have the code for each of the sockets here. To set this up on your website, it's simply a case of copying this code. And then with that in your clipboard, you'll want to navigate to your website builder. And I'm going to click add block. Um, it might be called modal or widget or some other word in your website builder. Uh, any website builder that allows for custom HTML code to be imported will work. And then I'm going to paste that code in here. There's one more thing we're going to want to do. We're going to want to go back to Tutor Cruncher. We're going to want to click on our socket integration here. And then we're going to want to copy our public key into this code where it says socket here. Then if you click save, preview your website, it should look something like this. It could well be the case that it doesn't. If it doesn't, it might look something like this. This is a wrong origin response error. Um, and if it's if you're seeing this, then good news, it is still working. There's one thing we need to do to fix it. You'll want to preview the website. And then you'll be able to copy this URL here. Then navigate back to Tutor Cruncher. In your socket integration settings, click edit here. And we're gonna add that domain to our allowed domains here. Scroll down, click save. Then if I navigate back to this faulty preview and refresh, it should then work. Just gonna preview that. There it is. Just to give you an idea of how this is gonna work, if I was a prospective client, I could fill in my name, give myself an email, That's a phone number as well. And then give myself a student name. Do the recapture. Submit that. From an admin's perspective, I'm going to go back to Tutor Cruncher here. If I go to People Clients, that client appears in my sales pipeline here and is logged as an inquiry. And here's their status here, and I can do whatever I need to do. So that's an overview 
of how the basic inquiry form works, how to set up Socket on TutorCruncher and integrate that with your website. Um, I do strongly recommend going on the examples we have here and looking through the different ways that you can integrate TutorCruncher with your website because they're pretty cool. Thank you for watching.